fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Painted Rock. Help, Silver. Boy! The town of Painted Rock was quiet and still under a thin sliver of moon. It was cold. The wind off the desert whipped through the little main street and rattled the sign over the false front of the biggest building. The sign read... Wells Fargo Company, Express and Banking. Wells Fargo, Express and Banking. <laughs> I reckon after we get through the night, they can cross off the bank in huh? Sure. There won't be nothing left to bank with. Now keep your eyes peeled. Some careless hombre might wander along before the boys inside get that safe ripped open. I'm watching. No need to worry, though. It's dark and it's cold. Even the buffalo's got enough sense to stay bedded up till sunrise. <laughs> Well, I'll be... You sure will. It don't take much to make it seem like you're lying, does it? Well, who's that, Albert? Mean, where'd he come from? I don't know. I wish he was back there. I wish he'd shut yeah, up. There's one way to shut him up. You gone, loco. Put up that gun. You want to rouse the whole town? Yeah, that singing he's doing is enough to rouse anybody. Maybe so. Nevertheless, you're right. The blast and powder will knock him out of the bed soon enough. And when it does, we'll have to bail loose and do it fast. Yeah. Meanwhile, what about this hombre? Yeah, maybe he'll just drag on through. A solitary cow hand. Most likely do it some ranch come sun up and he's getting an early start. Well, maybe he won't notice us. We're back in the shadows. He's coming. If him and that explosion arrive at the same time. Then it's too bad. He's a dead cow. Oh, sad it will be. Oh, think of the he's going. I'll keep your gun on him. Yeah. If the blast goes off... Kino, the bullet will knock him plumb out of his set. He's still moving along. Didn't notice a thing so far. Maybe... Here he comes. Hold up, Outlaws. Wells Fargo. Close his mouth. Don't start holding up the... Got it, Soupy? Please, I'm all right here. What was the shot? Yeah, nosy cow hand. Pile on your horses and make tracks. The town's starting to wake up. Oh, <laughs> Soupy. Yeah? Give me one of them sacks of cash. Huh? Don't ask questions. Give me. You're the top hand, Rankin. Here you are. Thanks. What in thunder? You threw that sack of coins on the ground. What's that for, Rankin? Now shut your mouth. All right, gents, use your whips. Here we go. Oh, stop Comes the shot the second too soon. They can't catch us now. Get up there. Oh, Come on, get up, boy. Yeah, 
I get a year's hand of what it was. One side, let me see the sombre wounded. Are you wounded? Who are you? Sheriff of Peter Rock, that's who I am. I know doggone well who you are, you poison skunk. Hey, now, hold on. You didn't wound me. It was them outlaws. You're plain innocent, eh? Huh? Don't savvy what you're talking about. What's your name? Drummond. Jeff Drummond. Where are you from? Well, I just wandered into town. I was on my way to the Circle Y Ranch. Just a plain cow put you, eh? Yeah, what of it? Nothing of it, except that I don't believe it. Oh, now look here. I was just going along minding my own business it's when... same as Robin Banks, it's eh? same as herding cattle. I was ambling through town singing a song. Hey. But... Yeah, singing a song. Just when I get past the Wells Fargo front, I, I hear that blast. I turned around and saw what was going on and started to Good yell. Good story. That's when you get shot in the arm, I suppose. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. How'd you know? Because I've been sheriff long enough to figure out how Crook's mind works, that's why. It's just a type of no good, empty brained alibi to expect from a hold up man. It's not an alibi. It is, and I know it is. So do you. So does every man standing around. Just because the rest of your partners got away, you're thinking fast talk yourself out of jail, eh? But you're going there, sonny. You're going for sure. Hmm. I reckon you don't give a gent much chance to prove he's innocent. Nope, yep, when he's guilty as a horned toad. Now you listen to me. Here's what really happened. The whole gang robbed the Wells Fargo cash. You jumped your horses and started to make tracks. No. Yes. Some of us woke up and started blazing away. I happened to get you. Sheriff, I tell you... Oh, well... Hey, never mind that, neither. We got no sympathy for outlaws. All you got is a flesh wound. You'll be right as rain tomorrow. Who are the rest of them? I don't know. You mean you won't tell? No, I... Oh, look, Sheriff... My word against yours. Won't you believe me? Son, you're forgetting one thing. I'm not a gent who makes up his mind without proof. Proof? What proof is that? The... He's, uh... Oh. Let me fix that arm. Only outlaws are all the same. Never learn you can't beat the law. Dog on your head. Here's my proof. A sack of cash from the Wells Fargo Bank. Lying right beside you. Right beside you. Sure, he said... You're going to jail. Tell him. Tell the sheriff, Betty. You know I'm innocent. Jeff, I, I hardly know what to Miss say. Miss Carson, ma'am, this fellow's guilty. We cut him with the goods. Yes, I, I heard. That's why I rode in from the Circle Y. There, yeah, you see, Sheriff, the Circle Y. That's where I was headed. I had a job lined up as range rider. Isn't that so, Betty? It is for a fact. You see, Sheriff, we knew Jeff down south a ways, in Texas, near Abilene. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you see, see. your first character, do you? I always thought Jeff was a fine man. Miss Carson, how long is it since you was in Abilene? What? How long? Why, six years. Uh-huh, six years. A lot can happen in six years, Miss Carson. For instance, this fella could turn from an honest gent to a horse dealing hombre. Now, look I'm not here. saying it's so, mind you. Maybe you're right, maybe you ain't. Maybe it was bad all the time. You didn't know it. Sheriff, Sheriff, Now, I... now, it ain't your fault, Miss Carson. It ain't nobody's fault. It's just that the evidence is against him. Dead against him. There's uh, no sense staying here now again, Miss Carson. You might as well get back to your pa's ranch. Maybe somebody will believe you. I don't. Tato, steady, Silver, steady. What do you make of it, Tato? Ah, woman ride horse down below on trail. And woman look plenty sad. I can't tell from here whether she's crying or not. She certainly doesn't look seem happy. Uh, she keep head down, hand to face. Yes. Come on, Tonto. We're going to find out. On the slope, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, boy. Get up, Buster. Wait. Get up. Don't try to run away. We're not outlaws. He's got a mask. Well, never mind the mask. Tonto and I are friends. We want to help Tonto. you. Why, you, you must be... Yes, the mask and that white horse. You must be the Lone Ranger. Now, what's the trouble? And you can tell us. What's wrong? The sheriff has 
we're just certain Jeff Drummond's an outlaw. He's put Jeff in jail. Well, I don't know what to believe. Kimasabi, that trail we seen last night. Yes, Tonto. Yes, it might be. Might be what, masked man? Miss Carson, last night, shortly before dawn, Tonto and I heard horses. They were traveling fast. We didn't see them in the dark. But later we checked up on the hoof prints. They came straight as a die from Painted Rock. Mister, that might be the outlaws. Yes. Why, if you and Tonto could... Oh, but you wouldn't be able to follow their trail. The sheriff tried and lost it. Mm, maybe sheriff, him not so good on trail. We find trail, we not lose it. Tonto's right, Miss Carson. He's the best scout in the whole West. Now, you go back to your ranch and stay there, and don't worry. Tonto and I'll trail those hoof prints till we find the horses that made them and the men who rode them. Adios. Get him up, scout. Oh, silver! Oh! Ranger and Tonto did find the outlaws. It was shortly after dawn of the following day when they reined up the horses behind a sheltering tree. Kimasabi, we send a trail. Those are the men, Tonto. Ah, uh, look, them count gold. Yes, Wells Fargo gold. And Tonto, look at their leader. I recognize that face. Uh, Tonto, not savvy. Uh, you're right. Me see good now. That's Spade Rankin. Spade Rankin, one of the worst outlaws in the whole West. And his whole gang, ten, no, eleven men. I know, we've got a rattlesnake. <laughs> oh, Scout, oh, fella. Oh, noises. Horses, a couple's flying on us. Grab your rifle. Right Somebody they see us, what we do. There's too many for us. Ride for a tunnel. Come on, Silver, come on, Scout. Hold your fire, and bullets. Those gents are riding faster than a prairie fire in front of a wind. Yeah, I guess so. Did you notice one of them wore a mask, Rankin? Who are they? I don't know, and I don't care. Reckon they were a couple outlaws, same as us. It must be if one of them's masked. Only outlaws wear masks. Forget them. <laughs> Just so long as they didn't try to cut in on our cash. <laughs> they won't be back, and I don't care where they go. They're no further concern of ours. <laughs> Ranger and Tonto were very much his concern. Because that very night they were swinging from their saddles behind the painted rock jail. That is <laughs> the same sliver of moon hung in the night sky. The same cold wind blew from the desert. They moved silent as shadows to the one barred window. In his hand, the Lone Ranger held two lariats wound together to make one strong rope. The other end was fastened to Silver's saddle horn. Who's that? Who's that? I see you. Come on. Keep your voice down. Mask man. Who are you? There's no time for that. Miss Carson told us about you. Betty? I don't say you whisper. Maybe Sheriff him listen. You're fastening that rope to the bars. You... Come and listen to me. The other end of this rope is fastened to my stallion. And I give the command he'll rear back and pull these bars right out of the window frame. You're local. Silver can do it. Besides, these bars aren't set in any too solidly. Well, I'll be. Yeah, I can see that stallion. I reckon he can pull him loose. There was a gray in the corral with a J.D. brand on his shoulder. That's your horse? Yeah. Tonto led him from the corral. He's saddled and ready to ride. Mister, do you mean you're breaking me out of jail? Not right. Yeah, but everybody will think that I was... This is not time to think. You leave jail now. Think later. <laughs> the rope is tied tightly. Get ready, Drummond. Yeah, I reckon I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Good enough. Silver. All right, boy. Harder. Hold, Silver. <laughs> Silver, pull bars out. Come on, Drummond. Out you come. <coughs> Quick, to the horses. We've got to get away from here. I see you. No, you don't. There's Sheriff. Run. Jailbreak. Turn off. It's a jailbreak. Mister, this ain't right. Drummond, loosen up on your reins. <coughs> okay. Sheriff, him got rifle. We go plenty fast. Loosen your reins. Let your horse travel. Good, Keno. I reckon the Sheriff won't listen to me now anyway. Come on, Dusty. Show him your hold. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Horsey. Horsey, turn off. Turn off. It's a jailbreak. <coughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
more story. A few miles outside Painted Rock, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and the young cowboy who had been broken from the jail drew their horses to a thundering stop. Oh, there's oh, 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 oh. This will do. They've outrun the sheriff's men. You know, what's your idea of busting me out of jail? Now, everyone would be dead sure I had a hand in that robbery. Everyone was dead sure of it before you left jail. But I didn't. There's only one way to prove your innocence. That's by finding the crooks. I found them. You what? I'll trail them to their hideout. Well, then why There's did... a big gang, too many to tackle. They're in a gap where they can stand off an army. Well, then how can I we... I have time to explain now. Tonto's going to keep out, out of the way while I head back to town. Back to town? Now you come, Drummond. We go hide. And what if I refuse? And you come anyway. Oh, I savvy. Just take him along, Tonto. Gotta hurry back to Painted Rock and talk to Betty before the sheriff and his men return. You mean you think you can get back there before the lawman? I've got to. Come on, Silver. Oh, great ginger. Look at that white horse travel. Ah, uh, him plenty fast. I thought we were traveling fast coming here, but it was nothing like that. That there horse is like greased lightning. I never saw a faster horse. Ah, uh, now you come this way. All right, Tondo. You can put that shooting iron down. Maybe I was nothing but a dog gone unappreciating fool to argue with that masked man. I guess he knows what he's doing. While the Lone Ranger dashed at top speed toward Painted Rock, the Rankin gang felt themselves secure in their hiding place at the end of a gully. I don't care if someone does come here, boys. We'll stay in them all. But Rankin, what if that masked man we saw goes to the Lone Man? <laughs> Let him. There's only one direction anyone can come from. And we got all kinds of rocks here to fight behind. Nobody could come from the sides. The slope is too steep. Sure it is. And the shale would slide right out from under a man's feet. <laughs> they couldn't come at us from the sides, and the back of us is again the cliff. I reckon this is a good hideout at that. You know, I sort of hope the sheriff is told about this here place. You do? Sure. Maybe he'll bring all his deputies and come here to get us. Well, but if he we does... We wipe them out. <laughs> Then we can arrange to get some of our friends into the sheriff's office. <laughs> Rankin, you're all right. Leave things to the boss. <laughs> and with the cash we got now, we can handle things our way. Who knows? Maybe if the lawmen are cleaned out, we can just take over the whole town of Painted yeah. Rock. Boys, the more I think about it, the more I hope the sheriff's men find us. <laughs> Ranger was winning his race against time. He flashed by the ranches on the outskirts of the town, then turned to the south, and another moment reined up at the Circle Y ranch house. Betty Silver, stay big fella. Betty ran from the porch. Oh, tell me, did the lawman catch you? No. Is he all Drummond right? is with Tonto. Not, not hurt. He's as well as when he left the jail. He'll be told what to do. Now what can I do? Betty, you've got to play a game that will call for all of your ability to act. Oh. Here, take my guns. Take them. Your own guns? But what will you do? Become your prisoner. My prisoner? Oh, these are heavy. As soon as the sheriff returns to town, we'll go to him. Now, here's what you'll have to do. men were raging with anger when they reined up and dismounted the lawman's office. We start out fresh, boys. Get fresh horses and pack along some food. We're going to stay on the range until we find those three. I don't care how long it takes. No crook is going to break out of my jail and get away with it. Come on to the Sheriff. office now. Sheriff, the masked man. That he's captured him. Any questions? What you got there? Does it look to you as if he's captured a prisoner? Where's that redskin? Where's Drummond? Got away from here, Sheriff. This man is willing to make a deal, Sheriff. How'd you catch him? Well, I, I guess he thought he'd be safe enough in town while you were out hunting for him. Oh, so you circled back, eh? Yes. Figured on picking up some more cash to add to what's already been stolen, eh? I, uh, told Miss Carson's about a deal. You're dealing with me now. Take that mask off. But, Sheriff, wait. Wait, my eye. Take off that mask. Hargraves, take it off him. All right. Aim to have a look at the face behind it. If you unmask me... You'll regret it, Sheriff. Don't you threaten me. I'm not making a threat. I'm stating a fact. Don't you want to get back the cash that's been stolen? Hell, get it back. Not if you unmask me. Listen to his proposition, Sheriff. Please do. He'll help you find Drummond as well as the money. Betty, how is it you're so anxious to see your friend brought back to jail? Because I know he's not guilty. If he's given a trial, I'm sure the truth will come out. Even if he were guilty, I, I'd sooner have him come back and pay his debt to society than, than have him a hunted outlaw. All right, What's your proposition? 
Let me keep my mask on, and I'll lead the way to the hideout. That's fair enough, isn't it? What more can you ask? Yes. What about later on? Later on? After we get the others. I'm counting on being released. Uh, That's entirely up to you, Sheriff. You figure if you squeal on your friends, you'll be let go, eh? Drummond is the man you want, isn't he? You busted him out of jail. But Drummond and the stolen money mean something to you. Maybe so. I'm not asking you to make a promise, Sheriff. I'm simply putting myself in your hands. Let me keep my mask until you have the cash and the men who stole it. If you don't, you'll never get the money back. It's a deal. All right, then follow me. Where's your horse? Waiting. Yes, Silver. By there, boys. I have a horse here, too. <laughs> You're not going along. Yes, I am. Hargraves, take those guns the girls hold. I'm going to keep them. That's right at all. Remember, I sh- if I hadn't captured the masked man, you'd have no prisoner. All right, then. Ready, boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right alongside you, mister. Very well. The first move to escape will bring more lead than you ever saw. Get up! Get up. Come on, Silver. <laughs> While the Lone Ranger traveled with the sheriff's posse, Tonto and Drummond rode where few men had ever been before. Oh, this, this mountain. I don't know how you can keep going on foot like this without losing your wind. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Sure is hard climbing. We go rest away without horse. Yeah. You mean we leave him here on the slope? Uh. Oh, and then come back for him. All right. Now, you be plenty careful. Not make sound. Yeah, I'll try. Scout. You stay here. Yeah. Steady, Brock. Yeah, I got your ground hitched. Uh, you make noise. Maybe plan all go wrong. Yeah, I'm not as handy at this sort of thing as you are. You step where Tonto step. Watch bloody careful now. Uh, here, top of hill. Uh, Phew. At last. You. You take a look on the other side. Hey, shale there's mighty treacherous. There's no man alive can walk down that slope. That's right. You. You don't expect me to try it. You only look down below. What about it? You see Gulch? Sure. Hey, there's smoke down there. Uh, that campfire. Uh, now I see some horses. And there's some men. Uh, them fellows outlaw. Them men who rob bank. Those? Why, the dirty army. Oh, well, I'm going right down there and deal with those. Stop. And he fool. You spoil everything. Well, I can't let you him do. You do what Tonto say. Later we make trouble for thief, not now. Nothing but a small animal of some sort to start a little of the shale sliding down here. I hope that's all it was. I'd hate to be here, Rankin, if a slide got started. Yeah, there's nothing to start. Rankin, sli- I hear horses. Huh? Me too. Wait, let me take a look. Get out of the way. What do you see? <laughs> Boys, our hopes have come true. Riders, they're coming this way. Riders and what riders? There's a masked man we saw here before. He's riding with the sheriff. Squeal on us, huh? Get your guns ready. He's done us the biggest favor he could do us. He's brought the sheriff and Hargraves and all the other deputies here where we can wipe every one of them out. There's a girl with him. That's just tough luck for her. The Carson's girl. Get your guns ready. They can't see us but behind these rocks. We'll let them get real close and then open fire. Wade Betty to stay back for the rest of the way? Betty, if the shooting starts, I can I would... use a gun. How would it be if Drummond returned, only to find that you were dead because I let you stay with us? Oh. Now get back. Uh, I will. But here, take your gun. Hey, don't give Thanks, those guns. Betty. Betty, you shoot All right, Sheriff. Hand those over to me. I'm going to use them. First, to fire a signal. Three shots. The signal. On top of the mountain, Tonto heard the bark of the Lone Ranger's guns. He cried to Drummond. Now! Now we start slide. Roll, big rock. Start slide. Yoo-hoo! This is what I've been waiting for. There goes a nice big rock. It's a coming after you, Johnny Crook. See if you can dodge it. There are the rocks. And here's another. Gulf Rankin's men heard the ominous sound of sliding shale. They looked up. Great rocks came bounding with a roar that increased to a thunderous peak. Look out! Get out from under! We can't stay here. Get the horses, get the gold. There comes another rock. There's men up there. They're starting to slide. We'll be trapped here. We'll be buried alive. Yeah, we've got to get out. Hold up, get the horses. Never mind saddle. The lawman out there. Do what I tell you. Rankin's men were terrorized. They scrambled to their horses' backs. 
Dodging great stones, small stones, and a shower of shale that began piling up in the gap. To stay where they were meant certain death. Our only chance is a break for it. we got to rush the posse and shoot it out with them. We won't have a chance. Look, they've all got places back in the rocks. But if we can't stay here, it's getting worse all the time. Come on, follow me! <laughs> Outlaws charged from their fort. They fired as they rode, but their bullets splattered harmlessly off rocks that sheltered the lawmen. And the sheriff and his deputies returned the fire. Let them have it! Don't shoot to kill! Just knock them off their saddle! The fire of the lawmen was accurate. The outlaw's case was hopeless. One yell. I give up! I surrender! The others took up the cry. Don't shoot! I give up! Hold on, hold on! Hold your fire! We all surrender! You said you'd leave it to me as to whether you took off that mask, eh? Well, you keep it where it is. <laughs> Where's Drummond now? By this time, he and Tonto are coming down the mountain to meet us in town. And, Sheriff, now you're satisfied that Drummond isn't guilty. Sure. The Rankin gang will pay in full, Betty. But wait. Hey, you mess, man. Tonto's waiting. I wouldn't ask who you are. There's reward, buddy. He wouldn't take it, Sheriff. That man's known as the Lone Ranger. <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 